Hi guys, I'm Rinsey and I am one of the contributors over at Book Riot. In the United States, March is National Women's History Month, and so just like I did last month where I gave you guys some recommendations for Black History Month, I thought I would do some for Women's History Month. Now my recommendations here are all going to be nonfiction reads. Personally, I don't really have a lot of problems finding fiction and reading fiction by and about women, so I feel like a list with fiction recs would be like way too long, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some nonfiction books that that I have picked up that I personally would like to read a lot and I think would be of interest to some of you guys. I don't think I'm going to read all of these necessarily in this month but these are my options. First up I have a book that has been mentioned quite a bit on the Book Riot channels both here on YouTube as well as like the podcast on the website because it's very well loved and that is Liar Temptress Soldier Spy by Karen Abbott. This book talks about four women who basically went undercover as men during the Civil War. Personally, I'm someone who loves American history. One thing that I've noticed is that I just read a lot about the men of history, mostly because I like reading about the presidents and just like major political figures. So a lot of times women in American history get a little bit lost in the shuffle. So I was really excited when I heard about this one. It was released last year. The next book is one that Swapna actually talked about in one of her videos here on the Book Riot channel, and that is The Woman Who Would Be King by Kara Cooney. This is supposed to be a biography on the longest reigning female pharaoh in Egypt's history, which is super interesting, especially since you consider the fact that pharaohs are usually men. So when she talked about this one on her video, I immediately like put it on my list of books to check out. So I figured Women's History Month, again, a really great time to read about this awesome lady. The next book that I have is At the Dark End of the Street by Danielle L. McGuire. The subtitle is Black Women, Rape and Resistance, A New History of the civil rights movement from Rosa Parks to the rise of black power. Obviously there's a lot of commentary and stories about the nonviolent aspect of the civil rights movement but there were a lot of aspects of it that were quite violent, specifically violent towards blacks. In the flap it specifically mentions one account where a woman was raped by like seven men in like the 1940s and Rosa Parks, who is often seen as like this upholder of nonviolent resistance, um, actually went down as a lawyer to fight uh, for that young woman and things like that. Sort of like these untold stories, especially about the violence against women and what they did to fight back and their part in the civil rights movement. Obviously this is a book that would also be great for Black History Month, but uh, I didn't get around to it in February, so hopefully in March. Next up I have The Poker Bride by Christopher Corbett. This book takes place in the mid-1800s during the gold rush on the west coast of the United States and it talks about how all of these Chinese immigrants came over to the United States to sort of like bank on this gold rush but they ended up actually staying in the United States and the effect that that had. But it also specifically talks about The Poker Bride who is this one a Chinese concubine who was like smuggled into the United States and then the person who like owned Owned her, ended up losing her in a, like a poker game and she ends up living like this really just crazy life in the United States after that point with the man that she ended up marrying. This young woman just like tells her story about what happened to her. So I just heard about this and I was just like this sounds just absolutely insane. And so I'm just kind of intrigued by this like life that this woman ended up having to lead. And the last book that I have is The Woman Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston. This is a memoir of her life growing up as a Chinese American. She talks a lot about the experience of being the daughter of immigrants and just sort of the complexities that come with that role. I love stories about immigrants and I love stories about children of immigrants because my parents are immigrants and I am obviously their child. So yeah, I always gravitate towards like memoirs or fiction or nonfiction about the immigrant experience and about the experiences of their children. So this is one that I've had on my list for a really, really long time and I've heard nothing but great things about this book. It also, yeah, it won the National Book Awards Critics Circle Award for nonfiction. So it's very well loved and it's one I've had on my list for a really long time. So yeah, those are my picks for National Women's History Month. If you guys are reading anything specific for Women's History Month, leave a comment down below letting me know what that is. Or if you've read any of these books and you highly recommend them and think they should be towards the top of my list, definitely leave that down in the section as well because I have a lot here and I don't think I'll get to all of them. Actually, I know I won't get to all of them, but I'm excited to give it a shot and see what I do end up reading about.